Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Chirasin Sira Ratsakun. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the red corner, 28 years of age. She stands at 166 centimeters tall and weighing in at 17.3 pounds. She holds record of 41 wins, five losses, and one draw. She is the BBC Muay Thai World Champion, representing Brazil, the Telecom Bobra. On the blue corner, 20 years of age. She's done at 165 centimeters tall and ready for the 18 pounds. She will record all 29 wins and nine losses. She's multiple times Thailand amateur boy Thai gold medalist and IFBA world championship gold medalist and RWS 2023 female random weight tournament semi finalist. Representing Ubon Ratatani province, Thailand, the Tulip Bar, Gum Lai Pat, Pat Three, too many rounds at 118 pounds. Number two versus number four, round number one. Notice that last time we saw Barbara Aguirre, just how strong and conditioned she is. Because we saw Stella Hemetsburg also from Phuket Fight Club compete here tonight, also in tremendous condition as well. It seems like the signature from Phuket Fight Club, <laughs> all of their fighters well conditioned. Of course, Arthur, of course, he did lose, but yeah, once again, still in tremendous condition. But not an easy task against Kamleipa, of course, very, very experienced. He's got a great timing here, you can see with the kicks. Mm, beautiful left kicks there to the body by Gamlai Pep. Barba is going to have to get a little bit closer in order to make those shots. Beautiful defense coming from the Brazilian. Good right kick. Gamlai Pep with a catch and attempt. Yeah, Barbara not really known for her kicks, more about her punches. There Ooh. you go, and her knees as well, because she is so strong in the Absolutely. pitch. Absolutely. That's definitely where she wants to be. I don't think Gamlai Pet within the clinch will have ever competed against another female as strong as Barbara. Mm. In fact, at this weight, I don't think there might be anyone as strong within the clinch as Barbara Aguayer. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. There it once Oh, oh. The elbow within the clinch once again there from Barbara. <laughs> Great. Clinching action there from Barbara. I'm like, hey, doing well though, throw knees. You can go, you see Barbara's head has yes. a bit more leverage. Yeah, come like that, trying to fight back. But of course, Barbara having the better of the two in her positioning. I'm not sure if you can see or not. I think there's a welt on the forehead of Kamlai Pet from that elbow strike that Barbara successfully threw and connected with. Oh! Sneaky elbow all the way in. And those kicks from the end. Oh, very fast. Round number one. <laughs> a little bit of a misunderstanding towards the end. Two minutes flew by there. Yeah. So strong, Barbara. Every single time we see her. Listen to it. There's that kick. Nicely timed from Gamlai Pet. She's being active here, which stops Barbara from moving forward. Yeah, she needs to. She needs to throw those kicks more often. Much better round from Gamlai Pet. But of course, getting into the clinch is not going to be in the favor of the Thai fighters. Ooh, oh, sneaky elbow on the way in. And from Barbara in reply. <laughs> Right high kick there from Barbara. Once again, looking for elbows. And then once again, within that clinch. Oh, look at that. Oh, so strong, Barbara. 
having the advantage here the back positioning. muscles have muscles yeah <laughs> <laughs> Forward. You can see the way she's pushing forward. She's being smart with it. She's blocking the kicks. Oh, again, looking for that elbow strike within the clinch. Nice low kick there from Gam like it. Oh. Making it harder and harder for Gam like that to find a solution. How do you stop this mountain walking onto you? So she competed in another organization on Friday evenings at 125 pounds. She is not scared at all to face anybody in a weight category if she can make that weight. But like I said, I do think she's found a home here at 118 pounds. Yeah, absolutely. Right Once now. again within the clinch, overwhelming, oh, big knee strikes there from Barbara. Yeah, I'm not sure how long is the ref actually going to let the fight go on. Now it she seems like Kamalai Pet is out of solutions. a monster at this weight. It's going to be difficult for anybody, and I mean anybody, and I'm talking, I'm including the champion in this, <laughs> to try and overcome that clinch technique that Barbara Aguayer possesses. End of round number two. Now they can mention that what a fight that would be. End of the second round and another round that in my eyes... Forward, she's been wrapping her hands around her opponent. If she starts to move backwards, that would play into the hands of Gamlai Pet. So if she's smart, if she's got good IQ, she will be continuing to do what she did in rounds one and two. Let's find out if she does. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And now you can already see oh, Gamlai Pet trying to push forward with those hands. Of course, she needs a knockdown now. If she wants to at least draw the fight, easier said than done. But she <laughs> will need to use those hands and elbows. Another shot that's underutilized uh, by Barbara is that right punch to the body as well. And here we go again. And you can see the way Barbara is holding on to come like that, like an octopus. <laughs> it seems like there's no way out because of how strong she is. It makes it even harder for come like that to find a way out of the clinch. She is the predator of 118 pounds there at FEMA. Absolutely. Of course, the fight is not over oh! just yet. That's a big elbow there from Barbara. And again, great timing. And once again, wrapping her hands easily around Gamlai Pet, who sneaks out. Lives a good kick to the body there. That was nice by Gamlai Pet. She's not ranked number two here at Rajadamnur Stadium for nothing. But Barbara, after this. There's fight, that right hand again to yeah. the body. Barbara will definitely be going up in the rankings, if not ranked number two or number one after this. Because we've also. Big sneaky elbow, and I think Kamala Pet was hurt after this shot. Absolutely. Of course, coming up later this year, we will have the tournaments. There's five tournaments, five weight categories, and there's always one female tournament. Could it be at 118 pounds? Could it be that Barbara cements her place by defeating Kamala Pet and goes oh, into and that tournament done. here tonight? She is done. I think the ref is about to stop this fight. I thought he was about to, yeah. actually. Oh. Every time she throws something, she gets hit back even harder. Nothing Barbara. really that Gamlai Pet can do right now. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and there's that right hand once again. <laughs> Three rounds in the books. A yeah. beautiful and strong performance by Barbara Aguayer. Yeah, I mean, Gamlai Pet did everything wow. to stay within that fight, to try and find solutions to those big knees. But that can, the conditioning of Barbara, the specimen that she is, she just overwhelms her opponents. Who is going to stop this girl? That is the answer. That is the question, Antoine, without a doubt. Who can stop Barbara at 118 pounds? I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the highlights. I wonder if some rats me is at home watching this one. Big elbow there by Barbara. Twisting and turning and connecting with elbows against Gamlai Pet. A masterclass in how to clinch and how to dominate your opponent within the clinch from Barbara. What a fantastic fighter she's become. You've got to give props to Phuket Fight Club and indeed Team Gam like that. Alright, with the official decision, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Off the three rounds of Boy Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges, scored is about 30 to 27. Declaring your winner by way of unanimous decision.